Redwood Newsmakers is being brought to you by your local U.S. cellular stores, built for us. Hello, Michael. Welcome to this part of California. Thanks, Ross. Appreciate being here. Can you tell us a little bit about your background and, and maybe what your last health care job was? Yeah. I've had pretty diverse uh, kind of health care experience. Mm -hmm. um, hopped around a little bit. So uh, undergrad, studied kinesiology, wanted to go to medical school. Mm -hmm. um, decided against that. My father was administrator with uh, the UCSF system and um, got a master's in health administration from University of Southern California. Mm -hmm. uh, experience from there, fellowship with Scripps Health. So I've been with Scripps, Kaiser, I've been with Sutter. Um, I've had a stint with Stanford Health and then John Muir. And then before here, I was with mm -hmm. a company called Tenet Health and I was based down in uh, San Luis Obispo. Well, as a faith-based organization, can you describe the culture of what Providence uh, does for the community, say outside of the walls of the hospital, but for our yeah. general community health? Yeah, it does a lot. And I'll be frank, I'm still learning. Where I came from, we really were just focused as we're, we're healthcare system and we focus on the business of healthcare. Mm -hmm. And I've been in not-for-profits where we always do more, but being in a faith-based, there, there's this legacy to that, right? There's this, this history. What's been nice is Providence Yes, we're a healthcare system. Yes, we need to take care of, you know, in our mission statement it says take care of the poor, the vulnerable, mm -hmm. and we do that. But there's this whole other side of it, which is how we're giving back to our community and how we're taking care of those that there's a need. And that really goes back to the legacy of what the sisters did. Providence, if you think about St. Joseph itself, right, this is where it all started. I don't know if everyone knows that, but this is literally where it started. Right? That's what I've, I've recently learned. What would you say are some of the challenges facing healthcare right now, and, and how does that impact the patients here in Humboldt County? <laughs> There's a lot of challenges. Um, there are challenges that existed before COVID that still exist today. And then there are challenges that have been exasperated because of what happened with COVID. Mm -hmm. And some of that is, of course, we all know the, the access issue. Um, the physician landscape is changing. There used to be mm -hmm. a general surgeon who did four or five different things. Now they're subspecializing into four or five different specialties. So it takes me two to three individuals to make up for the one that used to be able to do so much. Is there anything else you'd like to share with our community? Yeah, there's a lot. Mm -hmm. um, so I've been here since January 22nd, mm -hmm. and I have to tell you the welcome that I've received here, the openness that I've received here, and I mean this genuinely, so if anyone's watching and you're one of the individuals who has taken time out to say hello to me, to invite me to dinner at your home, um, thank you. Um, to everyone who's been supporting Providence Health over the years, I want to thank you for that. Um, I hope to see continued support and more importantly, I want to ask for everyone's patience. There's a lot of work to do. There's been amazing things that have been done. Um, I can tell you just in the short tenure I've been here, there is significant more work ahead of us and I'm going to appreciate everyone's patience and support as we work through that over the next few years. Michael Kellerman, Chief Executive of Providence St. Joseph and Redmond Memorial Hospital, thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Us. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you very much, sir.